Hello winners! Welcome back to our channel. I'm Michelle. I'm Natalie. And today we have an updated video on uh, my previous video regarding the counterfeit Loki backpacks. Um, so it's been a while since I've made the last two videos. And um, Natalie will show you right now. So we've got a while back, quite a while back, I can't remember how long now, but a while back I got a fake Loki backpack that I ordered off of um, eBay. A while later, she got a new, she got yes. a real a little bit after that i did get a real one and so i made a video comparing the real and the fake lokis um since then there hasn't been a lot but we have confirmed a couple more fakes so we kind of wanted to just go over that with you guys really quick um if you want a more in-depth review of the fake versus the real loki backpack um i'll put a link down in the description box below or if you guys just want to search through some of our old videos and everything i go into a lot more detail on um, spotting the differences between the fake and the real loki um luckily there's not too many of them floating around but we have seen them pop up here and there especially on like secondhand selling sites um i think i found a few that were listed on mercari um the some of poshmark as well um and if you're in any of the launch light groups on the facebook group um some other people in there have listed fake ones and I'm you know giving them the benefit of the doubt I don't think they realized that they got fakes and ended up trying to resell them and they were very easily to spot that they were fake bags um, since more people now are um, aware of the fact that the fake ones exist a lot of people are starting to be able to spot them now um, but again like I said if you want to see a more in-depth video of the Loungefly uh, Loki backpack description below or go ahead and search through our old videos you'll see i'm holding a, um the thumbnail is me holding the two loki backpacks um but like i said since then we have discovered a few more fakes um i don't have them to show you guys a direct comparison or anything like that so what i'm going to do is i'm going to try to get photos of the fakes and see if i have them saved somewhere if i can search them up and i'm gonna go ahead and you know just put them up as a side by side for you guys on here to um, just at least get an idea of what they look like. Uh, first one we want to discuss is the um, Thor bag. Oh. Let's let's start with Thor just because you know they sell for Loki. Okay, so we do want to mention too um, the fake Loki that I'm mentioning is the original Loki. So this is the original Loki backpack. So here is. The new Loki. So this one was released um, fairly recently. Not super recently, but fairly recently. So this is a newer updated version that was released. I think it was last year. So 2020 was this updated version. I'm talking about the original Loki, which is this one. This one's the one that um, we found had fakes. I don't think there's any fakes of these ones. At least not that we've seen. Um, so the original Loki has the fake and then we have also recently discovered that the original thor has um a fake made of it as well so this is the updated thor so this one we don't have um we don't know if there's any fakes of these ones we haven't seen any yet so i think you're safe with this one but i am talking about the original thor um i'll go ahead and put a picture just for you guys to see so this one we have confirmed with um some launch fly execs that they these ones have fakes out um let me see. Like I said, I'm, I don't have one to do a direct comparison for you guys. Um, so I'm going to try to find the photos and just post it here for you guys to see. Um, but the main things that I did notice um, in regards to how to spot the fake is one, it's got little flimsy, flimsy looking straps, just Pinsers. like this Loki. Yeah, you can see it like you see how like they're they're pretty sad looking. Even you can tell just based off of just looking at it because here's the real one you can see that they're pretty substantial like they're padded they hold their shape well the fake ones pretty squished mm -hmm. like it, it can't even like stand up from the back of the bag it's just laying like flat down against the bag um that was one of the main things um mine here doesn't have it like that but a lot of the fake ones that we did see the tags on them the marble tags are in a really random spot they are sitting on the front zipper 
off of this tag right here. Um, if that, again, same thing I saw for the um, Thor bag was for some reason the tag is attached to the front zipper. Um, as far as I know, I don't think I've ever gotten a single bag where the tag is attached to the front zipper. They're all attached to the top strap on the back like this. So this fake does put it there, but all the fakes I've seen are attached to the front right here. Um, and then another thing on the Thor one that I did notice was the little T that's on the front there. The little, um, sorry, I'm trying to think of the word, the little emblem on the front. So the wings around it looks really off on the um, the counterfeits. They're like puffy. The material's not nice and, and flat and smooth. The stitching's not super nice. But on the fake one, it's a little, the material is a little bit puffed up and the stitching is super crooked, especially on the bottom of the wing. Instead of being divided nicely into three segments, the bottom stitching are like super close to the edge stitching. Um, the little circle details on there, on the fake ones, they are very, um, they're off. I think like the top two ones were off so much that like um, the front zipper pouch actually blocked part of the circle so they're super off you once you see them side by side it's a little bit easier to spot um but if you just inspect the photo super closely like it'll it'll look off to you if you're used to looking at lounge fly backpacks it just doesn't look like it's the right quality um let me see here i'm gonna see if i can find more of the details um stitching on the side pocket was very crooked too on the one that we did find um a picture of online um, so what I mean by that is, let's see, so like the side pockets on here, so the normal lounge fly backpacks have very nicely laid out side pockets. The one on the fake looked like it was crooked and it sagged out funny, so it, it didn't even fit the bag nicely, so that's something to watch out for. Um, and then I'm trying to think if there was anything else on there that was super obvious. I want to say the Thor is a little bit harder to spot the fake of versus Loki. Um, what else? The one in the picture had uh, paper stuffed into the front pocket versus Loungefly's normal um, piece of foam that they put in there. So yeah, I mean, if if it looks a little off to you in the photo, definitely ask for extra ones. And like I said, the main things is to look like if it looks just it looks off. And uh, lunch twice, like they definitely have like a standard of way, the, the way that their bags look. And th that was kind of like our first hint was that it looked off. And then once, once you start looking closer at the details, you do see the different bits and pieces. Um, but that's the first one that we've seen since Loki. Um, another one that popped up right around Christmas, or not Christmas, sorry, Halloween time was Ghost Mickey. So I have a real one. And as you can see, it fits all of you know, Loungefly's normal like quality stuff. It holds its shape, um, stitching is nice and all of that. Um, so the real Ghost Mickey, one of its features is that it glows in the dark. So like all the white part here glows in the dark. The okay. fake yes. So we did find that some people, again, ordering off of sites, um, I think it was like AliExpress maybe, and I don't know where else they got it from, but um, there was a couple of people who did mention that they got fake ghost Mickeys. And again, I'm going to see if I can find photos of it, but um, if I can't, just be aware the main things that people were pointing out on those ones were one, it doesn't glow in the dark, it's supposed to, and it doesn't take a whole lot for it to glow. Um, I think we barely had it just in my regular like studio lights in here, like they, it only took 30 seconds to a minute to, for it to charge up enough for it to glow in the dark. If you want it to obviously to go a little bit more, you leave it in light a little bit longer. Right now it is glowing. I mean, you can't see it with full lights on there. Um, that's the main thing. And then um, the second thing is again, similar with the Loki and the Thor, is that if the shape looks off. Lunch wise, like yes, you can, some, like, you know, if you don't take care of them or whatever, or if you, it's get, it gets mailed to you, not packaged very well, it can get squished. It'll lose its shape a little bit. But as far as we know, lounge fly bags, if you stuff them like crazy, like get like a bunch of tissue paper or anything like that, just to like try to puff it back up and you leave it for a little bit, they usually gain their shapes back. Um, but the fake ghost ones that I saw people post, 
the shapes just did not hold itself well. It just looked like fully smushed. Um, the sizing was off too. I want to say it was like smaller and squatter, maybe. Again, it just looked off. Um, even if you just pull up a picture of what of you know the ghost Mickey and yours just doesn't look right, just kind of double check that. Hey winners, just a quick clip popping in here. Um, since we recorded that video on the new counterfeit bags that we discovered, I actually did find a little bit more info in regards to Ghost Mickey's. I'm just going to pop it in here really quick. Um, a couple other big things to look out for if in case you think that your um, Ghost Mickey might be counterfeit. A big thing to watch out for is the face. Um, it's actually embroidered on the real one here as you can see while on the fake one it's just screen printed on there. So that's definitely a huge sign to watch out for. And then I did also hear the mention that the embroidered boo on the back is also missing. So again, if you guys ever do get a bag, um, like I said, the, don't worry too much. There's not that many counterfeit ones out, but um, you know, the ones that we have pointed out before, um, if you do suspect that they might be counterfeit, just ask for more close-up pictures um, of all the kind of main things that you would need to watch out for. And uh, so I just wanted to show you guys that those were two other big things to watch out for for this bag. And I also wanted to just show you guys as well. I did confirm that another thing about it is that it's a lot smaller than the normal minis. So here's a regular size mini there for you. Next to Ghost Mickey. So Ghost Mickey should be more or less the same size. It should not be significantly small or anything. Alright, back to the rest of the video. Um, but again, there wasn't a ton of them. If you order, you know, you know, our best advice is always to just try to order from someone reputable. Um, it's not even always safe to order from somebody because either that person doesn't know or they got scammed and now they're just trying to get rid of a bad bag too. Um, I'm not trying to scare you guys off of buying them. I'm just letting you know that if you're buying any of these bags, just, you know, do your research, double check. Um, last one. So this one, I haven't quite confirmed whether or not a fake was made of these because I'm hearing like conflicting information. So this is the Halloween snacks. This one was sold in the park. So um, if you haven't seen my video regarding the plaques of the backpacks, um, when it says Disney Parks on there like that with Loungefly, that means that it's a Parks exclusive. So you can, the only way to get them usually is to get them straight from the parks themselves or usually off of Shop Disney. Um, and then obviously secondhand and that's because, you know, someone someone bought it and then now they're reselling it. Um, and I mean like in the sense of like you buying it from an actual retailer, you usually have to go straight through Disney somehow to get ones that say Disney Parks. Anyways, um, so there was some talk about whether or not this was fake because they had a different plaque on it. Um, we saw some, I think that all it said was Disney Parks. It didn't say lounge fire or anything. And so the plaque was smaller and it literally just said Disney Parks across the front. Um, some people were saying it was fake and then others were confirming that Shanghai Disney carried the ones that only say Disney parks on them. They don't mention Loungefly or anything on the plaque and they are real. It's just for whatever reason, this version of this bag that was produced for Shanghai Disney um, has a different plaque. I don't know why, but that was more or less confirmed that those are real. So that's not necessarily a sign of it's being faked. Um, the, everything else about it looks right. Like it's the right shape, right size, all of that. So like I said, it's not fully confirmed whether or not there was ever a fake of these. But again, be aware that there was a possibility of this one having a fake. So yeah, and we don't know. Like I said, we haven't confirmed it or anything. So don't be too scared about this one. But again, be wary, do your research. We. I would say this with people too is buying like secondhand bags because a lot of people have asked like about my collection and stuff and you know I've let people know that a lot of my bags are bought secondhand. Um, that's the only way I have so many. Like I bought 
a lot of them from like stores and stuff but I usually do my best to get some kind of discount buying them and then otherwise I used to always get them um, you know from secondhand whether it's eBay or anything like that that's not as easy now to get good deals on them because now the collecting community has gotten so much bigger that finding a good deal is not as easy as it used to be um, but we do want to give you guys some tips in the sense of like if you're going to be buying from secondhand places if there's a bag that pops up you think it's awesome you want to buy it um, price is probably a little bit on the high end whether you know it's more than retail or whatever we you know my advice to you is check whatever name of that bag is and then just google it google the bag google lounge fly whatever the name of the bag is um if, if you know the name of the bag like you know say you're looking up pork so lounge fly pork and then put in star wars too and then just google it and see um you know try searching just through the main feed or even go into um, the little shopping tab at the top and then just see if anyone's still selling it because i've been noticing that a lot is that bags that are brand brand new and so not a lot of people know that they exist just yet are immediately bought up by a lot of resellers and stuff and then listed on these selling sites you know on like poshmark um ebay all of that for like double the price and people are thinking, oh, well, they've never seen it before. It must be new, must be, or not new. It must be like rare or something like that. And so they pay those really high prices um, only to later find out that it's so new that it's still being listed on a lot of sites. Um, I think the main one that I've seen that happen with is like Amazon. Uh, like, for example, this is one of my newest bags that my husband actually gifted to me. So this is a Back to the Future bag. It's huge, by the way. I don't know if you guys can tell. Just holding it next to our heads. It's humongous. Yeah. It's a good, like, at least inch or two taller than our other bags. And look at how much fatter it is. I think it's because this front zipper is big, too. Anyways, I'll do a more, I'll do a more full review of it later. But, um, you know, I, I was looking around and I saw this bag. And I was like, I've never seen this bag before. And it was being sold for about... 150 ish by some people i was like hmm that, you know it's a little high i don't like paying really over retail for anything um i saw the bag all right let's take a second went in googled lounge fly back to the future it pops up on sale on amazon.com as in like an amazon exclusive for 70 dollars so by taking just a few minutes to just kind of check around and do research, I found the bag that's being sold for $150 for less than half price with free shipping because I, I have Amazon Prime. Um, so yeah, just, you know, save yourself the money. Just search around. So I mean, sometimes, yes, you do find good deals and people are selling the bags as not as not like horrible price or you can't find it anywhere. So if you really want it, you can pay those prices. But I want to have you guys save yourself some money and I want the prices of these bags to go back down to their normal prices because these new high prices are really hard for a collector now like me to collect stuff without paying a lot of money. <laughs> um, because like, like even me trying to find her Hello Kitty bag, the one that I got her for Christmas, the gumball one, took me forever after the initial release because I didn't buy it right away it sold out everywhere and I couldn't find it anywhere for like less than two hundred dollars like no the bag I was like it was an expensive I know I was like the bag was like eighty dollars I didn't want to pay two hundred dollars for it just because I didn't buy it the second it got released um anyway sorry my random rant about how prices have inflated the last year is crazy um but yes I hope you guys did find the first part of this video helpful about the counterfeit bags. If we do find any more or anything like that that pops up confirmed, uh, we'll do another updated video and let you guys know. Um, but yeah, that's gonna be it for today. What do they need to do? Like, subscribe, turn on the notification bell so you know when we post, uh, when we upload a new video. Mm -hmm. And comment if you ever got a fake bag or discovered one. And also follow um, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. All will be in the description down below. 
Although I'm not active on Twitter at all. <laughs> um, no, I, I'm not a Twitter person. I'm not very good at all of that. I can, I can barely keep up on our like, Instagram. <laughs> Especially now. I'm tired all the time now. I know my pregnancies have always made me like super sleepy. I don't, I'm not just sleepy through the first trimester. I'm sleepy through all the trimesters. I know. I'm a perpetually exhausted pigeon. Um, so yeah, you know, uh, follow us, all of that. Like I said, we'll try to keep you guys updated if any more fakes are discovered, but otherwise that's it for today. And we will see y'all next time. Thank you.